Draw number 500 around Australia today, including Mooney Valley, where the last race finished just half an hour or so ago. Four favourites were successful in a good day for punters, racing doubles to Gre uh, Greg Hall and Michael Clark. And here with the race calls, Greg Miles. Tristan then came, Go Sees Ego, Carps at about a half length in front, starting to draw clear, and the odds on favourites coming away to win well. Carps is one of about two lengths to Enviable, a length away third, Blaze of Interest, followed by Go. Carpstad, two to one on and favourite, five to one, enviable and blaze of interest at five to one. Further ahead, Bad Bay to be four lengths to solo bit for Zach and then Secret Diamond and Mandata. But Bad Bay is starting to come right away. He's five in front. And down to the line, it's Bad Bay to win by about six lengths to Mandata. Funny old run. Two lengths away, third solo bit, followed by six. The favourite beaten there at four to one. In the next, the 11 to eight favourite was I'm a Micah going for his third win in a row. Second on the outside, followed by Gippsland Ghost, but I'm a Mike is well clear. Liberty Slipper starting to rock at home on the outside. I'm a Mike is walking. Liberty Slipper's picking her up at the post is too close. I'm a Mike three quarters. Liberty Slipper, which was a very big run. Faithful thought may have snatched the. I'm a Mike at 11 to 8 in favourite. Liberty Slipper 7 to 2 and Faithful Thought 12 to 1 length in front of Vertical, trying hard, then sees his right, Joker, Joker, Lighthouse, Watson, Vertical got to Sir Great with about 50 to go, he's taken the lead, and Vertical under the whip, about a nick in front of Sir Great as they go to the line, and Vertical's drawn clear to win by a long neck, second is Sir Great, and third a length away is Caesar's right, followed by... The winner at 5 to 1, Sir Great at 6 to 1, and Caesar's right was the favourite at 7 to 2. Asicle gave Greg Hall his first win for the day. But he's taken the lead anyway. Asicle drawing away now from Chisango, Burnbray, Ladd, and Hyperborean, and Asicle's coming away for a good win. Asicle's gone on to win by two or three lengths to Burnbray, Ladd, and Chisango tied to third just in front of Hyperborean. Bells are calling, was never going to win, and then Game Lord, and they're followed in by. The place getters 10 to 1, 10 to 1, and 8 to 1, and Hyperborean, the unplaced favourite, at 5. To two. Darren Gauchi had his first win since he turned 21 in the next. Kahala Red and Dame Vengeance is drawing away. Gauchi wielding the whip and Dame Vengeance comes on for a very good win. Dame Vengeance about three. Romantic Storm is second. Third is Kahala Red. Followed... Another favourite successful, Dame Vengeance at 10 to 9. 13 to 2, Romantic Storm. 8 to 1, Kahala Red. And Greg Hall got his second in the next. Running on Amstel King with a late run and then Orlandi Star. Judges ruled in front. Bird Horizon getting to it. Judges rules hanging on his about a long neck in front as they go to the post. And Judges rule the three year olds done too well. Wins it by a neck to Bird Horizon. Three lengths to Amstel King third. Then. Judges rule at seven to four. Well, Michael Clark won the first event and he also won the last when he steered home Timid Miss. True verdict and Emma Green, but the leader is Timid Miss here with about 50 metres to go, holding Ruby's Rose, and Timid Miss is coming on to score. Timid Miss goes on to win just on a length. Uh, second placing is Ruby's Rose and five lengths then to Talon Bray, which has rattled home. Timid Miss at 9 to 2 and the unplaced favourite there, Pride of Biscay, at 7 to 2. And now looking at the uh, doubles around Australia, firstly the Quadrella in Melbourne for 5, 8, 1 and 2, $129.65. And the Daily Double at Mooney Valley for 8 and 2, $18.40. Now to Sydney, where the quadrilla there was one, four, two, and two, and the dividend sixty-four dollars and five cents, and the Sydney Daily Double for four and two, five dollars fifty. Now to Adelaide and Morfittville, where the Daily Double for numbers seven and five, thirty-two dollars and ninety-five cents, and in Brisbane at Doomben, the Daily Double two and six paid thirty dollars fifty. Now to Kilmore, back here in Victoria, and the Quadrilla there, one, two, four, and three, one thousand three hundred and eighty dollars and twenty-five cents, and the Kilmore Daily Double for one and four paid twenty-eight dollars and thirty cents. Well, the big event interstate today was the Perth Cup, and a short time ago it was won in dashing style for the fourth year in a row by a West Australian horse, and it wasn't a win, it was an absolute cakewalk. Clear on the turn, it's Rocket Racer at the 250 by two and a half to Puckel Harbour. Four lengths to Royal Sharif, Alpha Win, Hall Packs Images down the outside, but Rocket Racer's far too good. The 1987 Perth Cup is all over. Rocket Racer's six and going further ahead of Puckel Harbour, Royal Sharif. Miller, you're a genius. JJ Miller puts back to back Perth Cups together. Rocket Racer, eight lengths on the post. Puckel Harbour, Royal Sharif, photo second or third. 
What a victory there for uh, uh, Rocket Racer. And Johnny Miller rode his second successive Perth Cup winner in a row and the dividends just out, $1.75 and 90 cents in Victoria. Puckle Harbour was the sub in Victoria. The Victorian horse paid 90 cents and Royal Sheriff paid $2.40 in the running of the Perth Cup just a short time ago. Well now, still in West Australian sport and the America's Cup.